Hello all and welcome back to the Acting Daddy channel. Hope you're having a good week so far. It's miserable here in Drollsden, but um, hope wherever you are, it's a little bit nicer than it is around here and you're having a good week, yeah. A uh, little bit of an update. Um, another big shout out to my wonderful agent, Andrea Price, Andrea Price Management. Uh, a lovely little self take care of for me yesterday. Um, again, not too much information, but yeah, it was a nice little self tape, so a um, big shout out to Andrea who um, works so hard um, and I really appreciate it so thank you. Um, in this one I wanted to talk a little bit about showreels and um, did um, talk about headshots uh, yesterday and I wanted to talk about showreels uh, today because um, they're just as important as headshots if not maybe more to be fair. Headshots is like the first kind of thing you get usually uh, but showreels are just as important if not more. Um, so. There is companies out there that offer um, bespoke specific showreel scenes. I've worked with a couple of them, so shout out to Chris Stone and Isaac Hu. Um, I did my latest um, showreel scene with Isaac Hu. I've done, I believe, over 10 with Chris Stone. Um, pleasure to work with both of them. Um, but yeah, so if you're going to go down that route, um, obviously do your research on uh, companies and stuff like that, some are a little bit more affordable than others, so obviously bear that in mind, but you are someone, um, a decent uh, company with, you know, decent production and that kind of thing, if that's the route you're going down. Uh, you don't have to go down that route, uh, so my first show reel was made up of, like, short films that I did with, like, uh, with um, students at um, Salford Uni and stuff like that. So if you are prepared to work unpaid, um, I was, but um, um, at the time I was living with my mum and I had no responsibilities, so it was a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, if you are willing to work unpaid, um, then work with the, work with the um, students um, at the universities and stuff like that, short films. Um, because as long as they as long as they look decent enough, it doesn't have to be like Netflix quality or anything like that, but as long as it looks I mean you can see yourself clearly, you can you can be heard clearly and stuff like that, then you know, it's you know, it's usable. So um, that's always a route to go down. I know there's some acting classes that do um uh, scenes um included in their acting classes, obviously use them. Um, I wouldn't massively recommend monologues um, just due to the fact of I kind of think that sh you show reels about acting with someone else. So obviously when you're getting show reel like put together and stuff like that, it has mainly got to be on you. But it just to have someone else there and you're like reacting to someone else and stuff like that. So. Yeah, I wouldn't highly recommend monologues in a show reel. You could have like a monologue reel, there's nothing stopping you doing that. But I wouldn't recommend putting them in your show reel. Um, another thing, um, accents. Um, me, I can't do accents fluently. I can do a mick takey scouse and a mick takey cockney, but it is mick takey. So, um, I don't really bother with that. But if you can do an accent fluently, um, and it's like not nick takey so you know not too much and stuff like that. I had a friend message me um, a couple of days ago uh, that was trying to get his uh, man accent right and he's from Liverpool um, and it was bang on. It weren't too much, weren't nick takey, just right. Um, so if you've got that in your locker and you can do that then yeah do like that in your show wheel but I wouldn't have it as your first scene. I think your first scene, and I have heard people say this to be fair, and I do agree. I think your first scene should be just you, your accent, what you do, and then later on in other clips, if you want to venture into other accents that you can fluently do, go for it. Um, I would also say as well, um, put first kind of the thing you get cast for most. So like I say, for me, I usually get cast as like a drug dealer or um, a scally. Um, so that's the first scene in my show wheel. And the first scene in my show wheel is a scene that I'm going to put in the video now because I've got really, really clever and I'm putting pictures and everything and it's great. Um, so coming up in about 10 seconds or so, uh, I'm going to play uh, my latest scene with a shout out to the very talented Rev Stevenson. 
and filmed with Isaac, who um, great company to work for. So I will be back after that. Casey, Casey, Casey. It's about time. Yeah, sorry about that. I got a bit held up. I've been here 40 minutes, Rob. 40 minutes. No, I'll set up here as quick as I can. I'm not quick enough, dickhead. I'm well late for class. Do you got to remember who you're talking to? You need to remember I've got appearances to keep up. I can't keep waltzing out of the same classes every week. People are going to start suspecting something. Stop getting paranoid, will you? I'm not being paranoid. I'm being smart. It's too risky. I'm going to have to start meeting somewhere else and after school. How's about you shut your mouth for five minutes and give me my money? Haven't you got something for me? Sometime this week would be nice. <clears throat> Better not a short change, bro. What are you on about? Last week, short change, bro. Eh, no, I didn't. Was every fucking penny in there I checked? If I say you're short change, bro, then you're short change, bro. I decide the price, aren't I? I think you're smart, don't you? Selling your pills to your mates. Running your little mouth off. But let me tell you something. You do as I say, or I'll wipe that smile off your face. Understand? Yeah, right. God. See you next Friday. back so yeah that's the first scene in my showreel um and yeah that's kind of what i get cast as so um that's kind of my main selling point but i do do like a bit of comedy as well so there is a little bit of comedy reveal it's just a bit later on um at the end of this video i am going to put the showreel there if you want to watch it you can if you don't i'm not your friend simple i'm joking um but um, yeah, I'm going to put it there, so if you do want to watch it, you can watch it. But yeah, that's kind of um, my t hints and tips on showreels. Um, and also keep them uh, short and sweet. Little snippets, you know. I've got, I think, how many's in mine? I think I've got about five little snippets in mind. It's only about two to three minutes long. Uh, so we can go on social media and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, keep it like nice and brief, selling points, you know, headshots at the start, um, obviously any agent um, details at the end um, for obvious reasons. Um, if you haven't got an agent, just put your own email address down, that's what I did. Um, and yeah, uh, if you are struggling to actually cut um a show reel together but i know there is again companies that do offer um to do that uh, for a price and um, i don't do that i just use iMovie so if anyone's got you know an iphone obviously what i'm filming this on or an ipad or mac book mac whatever it might be um use iMovie cheap and cheerful and it's nice and easy um i wouldn't recommend it for you know, doing anything major, but a show reel you can probably get away with, or I do anyway. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah, nice and cheap, and it's easier. So, um, yeah, if you do want any hints or tips about using iMovie, I don't use any other um, video software, unfortunately. Um, so iMovie, um, or if you want any tips on camera, because I use that for like me, um, me titles and me ends and stuff like that. So yeah. If you have any hints and tips on them two um, tools, then please do let me know and I will more than happily do a video on them. Um, but yeah, hope you've enjoyed the video. It is, just double check, it's Wednesday, so still a couple of days of the week to go. So let's hope we can uh, finish it off in a good way. Take care. Fair not a short change, bro. What are you on about? Last week, short change, bro. I know I didn't.
There's every fucking penny in there I checked. If I say you short change bro, then you short change bro. I decide the price, aren't I? I think you're smart, don't you? Selling your pills to your mates. Running your little mouth off. But let me tell you something. You do as I say, or I'll wipe that smile off your face. Understand? Yeah, right. God. See you next Friday. Never pay to have it sucked again. Auto blow to tight edition. But my mum's just died. Well, you'll need it all the more then, won't you? Motty, will you fuck off with your blowjob machine? Fucking auto blow to. Have you improved it on the last one? Well, the first one snagged, didn't it? You're never going to sell that, bud. Phone and wallet. <laughs> I'm going to count to five. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's now what you're going to do. Do something then. What do you mean? What? No, no nothing. No. Have you slept? No. It? No. Once. Oh. I slept three times. Okay. Which when you first started going out, things were still casual. It all makes sense now. Constantly putting me off the scent so you can sneak in there yourself. You've lied to me. She's lied to me. I feel violated. You just said. She's sex mad. I'm just trying to help her mate out here. Oh, come on, don't be like this. Where are you going? To get full English. I've got no fear of that with you by my side. Right, mate? Our agreement is between us, mate. Only I'm going to look the other way. You're a strong bloke. My face, my name, comes up. Push your TV in someone else's direction. You can make them listen, can't you?